stunning reveal from doctors. The American college student brought home from North Korea has extensive brain damage. Otto Warmbier had been sentenced to 15 years hard labor, returning home, carried off a medevac plane, awake but unresponsive, unaware of anyone talking to him. Tonight, doctors explaining his condition and the mystery now. What did the North Koreans do to him? ABC's Lindsay Janice in Cincinnati. Tonight, back on U.S. soil after 18 months held captive in North Korea, Otto Wambier's doctors say he has extensive brain damage. He has spontaneous eye opening and blinking. However, he shows no signs of understanding language, responding to verbal commands, or awareness of his surroundings. But how and why is still a mystery. What they do know, his brain was deprived of oxygen. How that happened is unknown. In general, respiratory arrest in a young, otherwise healthy person, um, it's a rare event uh, and generally caused by something like an intoxication or a traumatic injury. Just days before he was released, the North Korean said Warmbier contracted botulism and fell into a coma after taking a sleeping pill. Doctors saying today they have found no evidence of botulism or that he was beaten. We see no evidence of an acute or healing fracture, including the skull. It's a devastating prognosis for the University of Virginia student who was accused of stealing a propaganda poster and sentenced to 15 years hard labor. I have made the worst mistake of my life. Today, Warmbier's father wearing the same jacket his son wore to that one-hour sham trial railing against the North Koreans for brutalizing his son. We're thrilled that our son is on American soil and I'm able to talk to you on Otto's behalf and I'm able to wear the jacket that he wore when he gave his confession. And Lindsay Janis joins us live tonight from Cincinnati. Lindsay, the president reaching out to the family. That's right, David. Fred Warmbier said the president called, asked him how he was doing, if he was taking care of himself, explained that Secretary Tillerson worked hard to secure Otto's release, and he was sorry about the outcome. Warmbier called the call gracious. David? Lindsay Janice leading us off tonight. Lindsay, thank you.